Optic Ye was the number one player for winning 1v1 duels in the whole of VCT, and it was by a lot. How does he do it? And what is he doing that makes him win so many of his duels? As soon as you watch Ye play, you immediately think that he's just good because he aim trains every single day, but that's not the case. It's his core fundamentals that make his aim that much better than everyone else's. So these are some things that makes Ye the best fighter in Valorant. The reason why his aim is so good is mainly because of two things, crosshair placement and micro adjustments. However, anyone above Platinum has good crosshair placement, so what makes Ye much better than others? It's actually the knowledge of how a player is going to peek. He knows when a player is going to wide swing him or shoulder peek him, and therefore whenever you watch Ye, he's almost on the head already, so all he has to do is micro adjust onto the head and shoot. And this comes to my second point, which is micro adjustments. And if you didn't know what a micro adjustment is, then it's where you do a small adjustment so your crosshair is on your enemy. And sometimes Ye doesn't even have to do this at all, as his crosshair placement is perfect. However, when he does need to adjust, he's very steady and calm and usually can adjust correctly. This is because he has a low sense and for a player like Ye, micro adjustments are the most important factor when it comes to his aim and using a low sense can be good in these situations as you have more control of your aim. Now the third thing Ye does which makes him so good is when he clears common angles. For example, in this clip, he does not quickly scan through each angle and dash into sight. What he actually does is he takes one angle at a time, very slowly, making sure he clears everything with no rush and manages to take the chamber out who wasn't even in a common angle. Moving on and watch how Ye aims down sight and position his crosshair perfectly before even starting the fight. You can also see him do this again even though he hasn't even seen the player. Unlike the last clip, Ye was able to see a pixel of the player so before starting the fight he would get perfect crosshair placement on the enemy. However, in this clip he hasn't even seen the player and he's already setting up for the fight before it even happens and this is why Ye is such a strong player to go up against. Lastly we're going to talk about his movement. When you watch Ye, his movement doesn't really stand out, however he actually uses movement to help with his aim. In this clip right here you can see he doesn't move his mouse whatsoever and lets his movement correct his aim for him. This is good as it makes it harder for the enemy to kill him and he also is correcting his aim all at once. Okay, so if you want to play like Optic Ye, then you need to put these mechanics into your game. First of all, he never sprays with a Vandal. He tends to use a burst shot with his Vandal while counter strafing. Aiming down sight is used a lot by Ye and not many other pros use it. He says it helps him focus when watching an angle. If you want insane tracking like Ye, then you can practice this by going into aim labs and play the tracking tasks. If you want to practice micro adjustments, you can go into aim labs and play the six shot game mode. And finally, you need to get into the habit of clearing angles very slowly and precisely. If you want to get good movement like Ye, then you can click here to learn about counter strafing. If not, spin your boy critical. Peace out.